Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, today's video, I will be doing an oil change on my car and um, it's pretty simple, but um, I use uh, the Fumoto valve, which um, makes it easier and makes the job a whole lot cleaner so that you don't have to uh, take off the, well, I guess you just switch it out with the, the drain bolt and now there's like a little switch, like a little, uh, a little tab that you just um, just flip over and then the oil just drains right into um, the drain pan but um, a little update on the car um, yep yeah, it's still white and I got the color I mean I'm just trying to figure out what color I want to dip the car next um, and then with the um, I have an appointment uh, this Friday uh, today is Tuesday so this Friday I have a paintless dent repair guy who's gonna try to take this out um, the best that he can, um, you know, as long as it gets, I mean, he said that it should be about 80% back to normal. So as long as it gets somewhere around there, I think that I'll be uh, pretty happy with it. It's better than, yeah, I mean, it'll probably be better than what it is right now. But yeah, this is the car as it sits right now. I don't really drive it that much anymore. It just sits in, the, sits in my little, the too slow for you garage here. But um, yeah, I have... I'm thinking of different ideas on what I want to do with um, the new color and different paint, the, I guess, dip paint color schemes that I want to go with. But yeah, that's what it is right here. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the process that I take when I change my oil with the Fumoto valve. So this is the equipment that I will be using today. Uh, I have the car jacked up and on uh, jack stands um, yeah, and light under there as well. Just so I can see and so that I can get a better video for you guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started with the journey process. I'll show you guys how easy it is to use um, the Fumoto valve and how clean it could be. Alright, so this right here is the Fumoto valve. Um, there is a, a nipple here, so you could connect like a connector and a hose and put it, like, point it down like directly uh, to your oil pan here, but I lost that, so um, yeah. Um, I mean, my car is pretty low and a lot of people say that um, uh, they're afraid that, I don't know, somehow like, some, like a rock or something is going to flick the switch open or something, but um, just in case they do sell this little piece here that you just take it off and then uh, whenever you want to open up the valve you just uh, you just push it down and just swing it over I'm trying to do it without blocking you guys and that's it yeah you know hands will be clean uh, you know you're not you're not gonna just be just twisting the drain the drain uh, bolt and I guess try to sense it for when it's fully loose and just try to pull it out as soon as possible um, yeah this makes uh, everything way easier and um, I guess you, you'll be clean as well I guess the only thing that you might get dirty from is the filter here but even that could be pretty clean too so yeah I'll let this drain out for a little bit um, do some other, do some other thing, some other stuff while it's draining, and check back. And then one, whenever everything is, whenever you're satisfied with how much it drains, just flick this back, and you'll close it. So this is what comes uh, inside the box, the filter, the o-rings, and a little drain uh, type of thing where you just, uh, you kind of just like push this up into the filter area and then the oil will drain out of here. Um, I have extra ones so I, I'm doing that already right now. Um, 
but yeah once that's done draining and then you just take it out swap out the o-rings here which i'll show you guys when i do that and then um, just screw everything back on all right so this is the old filter housing um gotta take off the o-ring here and down here use the oh that's like already on my hand to just put the new o-ring on just make sure that you put it back at the correct spot down here twist that on I, I just do it just hand tight and then I'll tighten it once I get Get it back down under and then just put the new filter on and then you're good to go back and reinstall it on the car all right so i have the filter back in and the valve here just wanted to show you guys um how again how it works um i have everything there's no oil in the car right now or just a little bit maybe so just i just pull this out and just swing it over the oil will come out and then whenever you're done you just push in swing it over again and it closes it and then for the stopper here I just do that and now it won't it won't um, I guess it won't work anymore so now I can't push it or swing it over anymore and yeah that's basically how the valve works um, if you guys have any questions just let me know they have a lot of valves um, for different kind of makes and models of cars so I'll, I'll put the link to their uh, website in the description below To reset your maintenance required light, I will push that twice, and it could be different for um, all the three ISs. I'm not too sure, but for mine, I just push this button here. It'll go over. It's saying maintenance required. Just head over to the settings. Right there where it says vehicle settings, just click up to it. Uh, oil maintenance. Reset data. Yes. And it says that the data has been reset. So let's go ahead and start the car. And it's good. There's no more maintenance required sign. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty simple job. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching the video. If you did, I mean, I guess if you got to this part, you probably watched it. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing. And make sure to leave a comment and a like on this video. And I'll see you guys on the next video.